reality by its very nature is self-creating, self-sustaining, generates space and time, and does this in an eternal and infinite way. Time is not something that can affect reality because time is within reality, not outside of it. Nothing is outside of reality because to even posit something outside of our reality, if we put that as a circle, you'd have to have an unreal influence acting on reality, which is a logical impossibility. And logic is the structure of truth, which denotes inclusion in reality. It's not possible for an unreal thing to affect reality. And that's inarguable. If this were a computer, let's say, the internal aspect would be all of the, you know, complicated programming and software and so forth. Whereas the display on your screen, what's actually being presented to you and that which, which you can interface is the external aspect. So the CTMU says that these are the same. There's actually no difference between the internal and external aspect of reality. This also means that reality is deeper than we've been led to expect. The world that we see is just the external appearance of the world, whereas the unseen world of spirit or the non-terminal domain is the internal form. The shape the universe takes for itself but doesn't show to anyone. And this is what's the, actually the deep structure of the world, which isn't visible to us, but is still just as real. The universe hides its true essence, but yet that true essence displays itself and filters itself through the creation of the physical universe through which we can, if we kind of read between the lines of how reality works, we can get see the, the eternal truth, that internal aspect, which is never changing beyond the appearance of change. So the eternal truth and the physical appearance of the universe are self-dual to one another. If there was dualism, that would mean that there is no connection between the eternal truth and the physical appearance. But since there is a connection, it means that reality has something called self-duality. It contains both its eternal truths and its appearance within a single structure. So this idea, which is as spiritually moving as it is theoretically important, is called analytic reality closure, ARC. To make our way through the shifting waters of reality theory, we're going to need an ARC, an ARC, analytic reality closure. It means that because reality is entirely self-contained, we can think of reality as one single object. The CTMU defeats dualism through the ARC. 